Hey, welcome to Pie Tales. I'm your host, Lloyd, and I got a special guest as usual. This man I've known him since kindergarten. I'm talking literally grade one, well, right before that kindergarten. Anyway, kindergarten. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've known him since day one, man. Uh, I've got the pleasure to come back, move back home, and reconnect with him. You know, you don't, a lot of people don't get that opportunity, but we've actually stayed pretty close throughout the years. I got Derek. What's up, y'all? In How y'all doing? The Pie Tales what Studio. Do? What it do? What it do? <laughs> that is your camera. Derek, just let the people know like who you are, what you're doing these nah, days. Nah, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just out here living and stuff like that, man. You know, uh, life's too short. You just gotta just, you know, you gotta find your niche in life, man. I found mine, thankfully, by the grace of God, and, you know, kept me out of trouble and stuff like that. So that's why I'm here. So, that's gotta hear, you know, represent my, my boy Lloyd and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, grew sir. up together. So, I'm, I'm, it's an honor to be on the podcast, man. Like, man, mm-hmm. like, you know, I love it. I love it, bro. Glad you came through. And I'm gonna tell them why I am really glad you came through in just a second. But, man, we ain't got no desserts. And it's pie tails. What you wanna do? Man, I got, I got something better than pie, man. She got, you know, I'm not gonna say what it is, but if people know, if you know, you know. So we got a little, put a little. Oh, so it's so it's nice and sweet though, right? It's, like, it's nice and sweet, nice man. And sweet. It's, you know, okay, it's, so it's, put, kind of it might, it's sweet, but it might put some hairs on your chest. You know what I'm saying? I think we'll be all right. Just put a little bit here. <laughs> we little gotta bit pull here. up. It's a little bit. That's enough, right there. Something sweet for pie tails. That's it. We ain't trying to get lit. Yeah, we not yet. Put not that yet. over there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, man. So man, shoot. Yeah, for cheer, uh, cheers, 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 yeah, salute. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll sip on that. Uh, that would be our dessert, dessert today. But yeah, the reason why Derek was one of the people that was well, one of the first few people I really wanted to be on the show is just for one, his just mindset while we were growing up. Um, so you can talk about that. And then two, like he's after high school, just like the years after he's just been hustling, just trying to find a way uh, he worked with his family, but he's also tried, you know, tried to school thing a little bit. Um, it wasn't for me. That's for <laughs> And then, you know, he, uh, he's like I say, he's just been trying to make a way for himself. He's always calling me on some positive stuff, um, updating me with everything. So, yeah, I mean, first off, let the people know, like, how it was growing up for you. Just some of your initial thoughts going through school. How, 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 was, Man, how was school? Man, I guess, like. As you could say, like growing up for me, man, it was just basically for a lot of you that don't know me. You know, I I, I was I look white, but I'm not. I'm no Salvadoran <laughs> Mexican. Okay. You know, and uh, uh, basically was that, you know, living in Pearland, I, I I couldn't I couldn't say that Pearland was my home, although I stayed there all my life. Like recently, re, I basically grew up around the Gulf Gate area, South Park area. You know, mm-hmm. uh, f- up until I want to say second grade. Every day from from school, I was always took it back to my to my family shop, and we got to see a lot of characters and stuff like that growing up. Y'all worked and on cars. Yeah, we worked on cars. We actually, back in the early nineties, uh, my uncle and my dad they were one of the first uh, pioneers on this side of town in the south side to work on hydros. Basically, they would take they would take thirteen switches and turn them into six and stuff like that. And they got to work with big names, you know. They got to work with uh, up and coming little Kiki. They got to work with the the the, 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 the Hershelwood hardheads, you know. Okay, Duke okay. and Knock, man. I hope y'all good out there. But if y'all heard "Ball in the Mix," that's their song, man. And then even the legendary Scarface back in like '93, '94, uh, when they knew him as Brad and stuff like mm-hmm. that, he would come mm-hmm. up in there, you know. All this, I mean, if I bump into him, he's gonna remember us. So, yeah. but anyways, no. Basically, uh, yeah, I did not. I did not. I wasn't raised in Pearland. I was raised in Southeast Houston. Yeah. Although I lived in Pearland, it wasn't to this day. Uh, it doesn't feel like home. Mm-hmm. Just the other day, you know, like like growing up, you know, a lot of people in Pearland they would they would call it, like their little eating spots would be McDonald's something like that. Man, for us it was Burger Park. Yeah. It was Shrimp Gallery. And if we wanted some wings and rice, it would be Timmy Chan's. Timmy and a lot of Chan's, people, yeah, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. You know, Funny he, Timmy Chan story. We were sitting in the drive-thru. Dude comes up with a menu of <laughs> DVDs. <Yeah. laughs> and we were like, no, I'm good. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, just, man. It's just, no, man. I mean, shit, to this day, it's like, you know, I remember going to McDonald's when they did open a McDonald's right there on 518 in, in Cullen, man. And, yeah. I mean, oh, I think I was like, what, we were like first grade? Good Lord. Yeah. It was, it was, it, I remember just open. I remember going up to the, to the, to the, lady and I was like y'all got Kool-Aid here and she's like no well we got Fanta and I'm like damn I don't want to you know what I'm saying so well my happy meal I had a drink of what do you call it was was either Fanta or high C yeah. later on but, but like no I mean you know growing up in that environment it actually it hardened me and not in like a thug way but you know it kind of 
gave me some kind of ideology of the streets, basically, because, man, like, you know, growing up in that environment, you see a bunch of characters and stuff like that, and especially um, when it came to these candy cars, man, I mean, people would come up in there and pay cash. This is, this. keep in mind, this is early early 90s, man, and credit cards, yeah, but if you want to lay low, you just pay up in there, could walk up in there with some bands, and basically that's what they did mm -hmm. back in the day, man, but, like, you know, it, it, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot, uh, uh, basically, like, you know, street smarts and stuff like that. And, and a lot of people growing up, they didn't have that. And so, yeah, because with people that I talked to uh, that's, that lived on South 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 Park, they said we come to Pearland and me too going to Pearland and like South Park, that area, like two different worlds. It, it is, it's man. Even though even worlds. even though that Bellway separates it, man, it's like, y'all know this, man. If anybody that looks at my, my boy's podcast here, if, if, you know, a couple of your guests are friends of ours. Mm hmm you know, like passing Beltway going north from Pearland to into Sunnyside was like going through a, a liquid, like a liquid wall, basically, because mm -hmm. it, it was a division of everything, man. And then, it, I mean, it, it, to this day, man, like you never, I see people at the Panda Express nowadays, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just looking around, man. It's like, damn, well, I just, it's, it's a totally different thing. And it, it, yeah. it, it's not trying to glorify like the fact that, you know, like, the 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 negativity of it man yeah, but no. it's just the fact of the matter of that like for us man i called it home you know and believe it or not like i would not i would not i would not basically like like live there but i would what i would want to do man and i see people struggle and then even in the latino community and also in the black community is that what's happening is that they're building houses now man and like if you if you went down to M, up in MLK man like mm -hmm. towards the, towards six ten mm -hmm. yeah, I'm talking about you got like high rise condos and stuff like that man it's becoming really Gentrified. like gentrified exactly yeah. man but you know at, at also though it is a downside of it because families that are in low com, low income housing they're they're getting pushed out the property tax is going up the property tax is going up and then too. Californians coming in you know y'all gonna stay your asses back there I'm just joking I'm just joking y'all paying a lot to <laughs> live yeah, up here too man. no man it's just really you know, and another thing too, man, it's being, it's just being grateful, being from the city, man. Like I'm looking at your views right here, man. You see this every morning when you wake up and smell the coffee, man. Yes, like sir, it's yeah. just a lot of people that I noticed that are not from Houston, man. They always, man, I just got back. I just got back from a, a, a trip from Spain yeah. and like, I'm listening to my Houston songs and this and that, like, you know, like, man, there's no, there's no other place that where people come from that represent harder than Houston, basically, is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, real. And I'm going to tell you, hold up real quick. Let me check something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check make sure we're all good on the recording side, and we are. So, yeah, what I was about to say, like, when I went off to school, I was like, man, like, all the, a lot of music that we listen to comes from, like, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. and, I was, and I was talking to different people, it was kind of just like, you kind of have to educate people on the Houston like kind of culture. Like they yeah, don't know do, like man. our artists, like, the cars. No do, one understands man. the cars. They're like, oh no, that's kind of why. Even people from here don't understand it. Bro, but I, like I, we, like me, always being like South Park shame. and yeah, stuff. Like yeah, I, man. like I used to be like, oh, that's crazy. Like, and and then, like really like and deep not only, And not only that though, man, but like seeing your favorite artists walk down. Man, I just seen ESG the other day. <laughs> so little Kiki just yeah, twenty four. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I just seen him the other day, man. You can't get that anywhere else in 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 country you probably can but they got paparazzi and all this bullshit like yeah. these are people that like they they molded me man when it comes to like to the culture basically yeah. man it's like i understand that you got an app out there bro like man that's yeah. that's freaking amazing that's bro. how much we love it yeah bro, we, like i'm telling you like uh, vision 713 you know we try to connect the themes of space and and slab culture and just uh, suc what they brought and just kind of like mold all that together because uh, you'll see it. So I saw a mural in the uh, Reliance Center. They got mm -hmm. like I think clutch driving the slab. Yeah, man, that's and crazy. and it's it's crazy because literally like Black and Latino culture influenced mm -hmm. the whole culture of of Houston <laughs> to be honest. And uh, man, I seen a white dude with a do rag on and he had elbows on his four Taurus, bro. And I was like. I can't hate the guy, man. No, you, I, mean, I can't hate the guy. I'm like, I love it. I was like, damn, man. We love like, to see it. Oh. Roll down the window. He's like, hey, cuz. He's like, what's up, cuz? I was like, oh, shit, man, shit. Like, he loved it, man. He like, real. yeah, for real, man. And like, it's so, just, it's just crazy.